<clears throat> okay, wait, let me close this. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was so focused on typing and announcement. I was just Oh, why am I so zoomed in? I don't know. It's it's like the wide screen, you know, so you can see all the trash in your yeah. uh... Hello, hello? Oh, this is Nighthawk. Hello, Manston Nighthawk. Hello, hello Nighthawk Manston. How are the audio levels? Are they any okay? No idea. Do you have a uh, sweet... Hey, Essence Samurai, what's up? Do you have sweet jazz music background? Oh no, no! I didn't even prepare oh, background no. music. Ah! So what uh -oh. do we do? I don't know. Let me it's just... always so crazy how, how big the quality difference is between you and me. You have like this nice office. And a high definition, I have this cracky yellow, uh, <laughs> Boy, <that's laughs> like I live in a trash can or something. <laughs> we have the same uh, webcam, right? Yeah, we do, but the connection here is just terrible. Also, the light. Wait. This light gets a little better. Is this better? Hello. Hey, hey Tito. Tito. So, in the meanwhile, when I'm searching for some epic background music, you can yeah, explain. This is a lot better. What's the stream? What today's stream is all about? What today's stream is about. So, uh, first of all, welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, today's stream is about. We have a few topics, and first of all, is uh, where's Calder? Is Calder is missing? Um, then we talk about something we've been doing this month, which is uh, a price drop. So instead of uh, one fifty nine, the keyboard is available for one thirty nine. This month, get it now. Also, uh, we're going to talk about our first affiliate streamer. Mm. It's an Osu uh, player called Rohok, but we'll show more of that later. Then we'll talk a little bit about the uh, RGB updates, we've been, uh, like some RGB fixes we've been doing for the beta and uh, what our plans are for the, for the public release. And then lastly, we're going to try something completely new, which I'm very excited about and also kind of anxious for, but we'll see how it works out, which is uh, an open mic so we have a channel open on discord and the idea is that pretty much everybody can just jump in and join and talk about uh, keyboards gaming calder news, <laughs> <us> calder <laughs> talk about how much you miss calder talk about how much we always miss calder it would be funny if calder would join the discord right yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be interesting they're like buses and they're banning in the background why only two here? So okay, this this so this is gonna be the first topic. So, where's Calder, Eric? Um, like every CEO, he has to go on vacation at least twice a month. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. No, he went to uh, Vietnam on a small holiday yeah. for the week. Oh. Uh, and yeah, so he should still be there, yeah, until Monday. And I'm not sure how he's doing. The only thing he well, he called us two days ago, right? But it was like business stuff for two minutes. And we asked about his yeah, vacation yeah. and then he just hang up. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I saw on Instagram like, that he's... <laughs> yeah. But I saw on Instagram that he's having a good time. So hopefully he right. enjoys this and yeah. he will fill his battery again. Yeah, I hope so too. I mean, uh, it's very well deserved and I think it's good for him to uh, be a... Uh, out of the loop for a little bit too. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, coincidentally enough, I went to Vietnam myself last week. For <laughs> <few> days. <laughs> so next week, and I'm going uh, to Vietnam. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, that would be great. No, but it's a, uh, it's a cool country to visit. It's very, uh, pretty crazy. A lot of people. Very, very good food, very cheap, and uh, beautiful nature. Mm. And uh, we even went on a boat trip, and um, the boat trip was on those beautiful lakes, and there was like uh, big rocks, and uh, like uh, like you and you could go like a little boat, and it was like uh, sailing around Jurassic Park or something. And uh, funny enough, there was also an island, and the island was called Skull Island because uh, King Kong Skull Island was filmed there. Yeah. 
and they and they still left the movie set completely intact so they just sort of turned it into this tourist uh tourist destination it's pretty cool right it, yeah i mean on one hand it was kind of cool but they went a little far because in the in the movie there was like uh it was supposed to be this island with the aboriginals and they still had like uh, wooden huts or like straw huts and aboriginals and they all had like a certain style but the style they had it was like not vietnamese at all and had nothing to do with vietnam it was just something they made up in the movie and it was kind of strange that they still like kept the same picture i guess but uh i don't know it was still uh i mean the surroundings were beautiful so it's really cool yeah pretty cool yeah 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 so uh next week in two weeks caldo will be back and we'll go back to the regular uh, hopefully three people again and i'll also be in holland oh yeah by then yeah so That's... next week huh i'm excited for it can't wait yeah me too maybe we'll do like a dual stream from the office or something the office <laughs> No, no, we got <laughs> no, I mean, your room. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, fun. but I think it will be really cool. And I really hope that in two weeks we uh, can find somebody to invite on the stream. Yeah, but I guess today is like a good test, you know, in Discord, how it will go, and probably when we have yeah. like a proper guest, famous persons. Probably they will have a can. Very famous persons. Who would be like very famous who we can invite? Obama. Oh, that would be sick. <laughs> no, Maybe we should uh, think, like, invite the uh, CEO of Razor. <laughs> Ming Liang Tang. Uh, what is his name? Ming uh, Liang Tang or something? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know? Oh, you know, <laughs> like two years ago, I was uh, with Calder at Computex and we saw this guy walking around, like just sort of scanning for stuff. We're like, is that him? And uh, I think it even had this razor, razor backpack, and I think it must have been him. But we were just too nervous to say something. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's. Uh... But yeah, maybe, maybe that will be kind of cool. I don't think he will. Uh... I don't know, like. Probably has better, he... <laughs> more important stuff to do. Right? Probably more important stuff to do than follow our live stream. Oh, you never know, right? But I mean, we've now eight know. viewers. We know one is actually Samurai and probably one hey, is we Manson. Got, we have nine. We have nine now, so. Uh, maybe he's oh. here now. We called him out. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's here. <laughs> I'll send him a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed the live stream? Yeah, oh, well. Uh, yeah. But let's get a uh, bit, because I really want to go forward to the open mic stuff, because that's what I'm really excited yes. about. And... Uh, Let's go f to the price drop we now have in this month. Well, it's not really a price drop, right? It's more sort of a discount period for the whole month yes. of March. And yes. uh, over the last half year, we got a lot of feedback that our keyboard is somewhat on the expensive side. And yeah. uh, so the threshold for people to purchase the keyboard is just a little bit too high for some people and uh, yeah. especially like we're an unknown brand and everything and even though we make a cool keyboard nobody trusts us you know uh, yeah so it's a it's a big leaf of faith people have to make and especially 460 euros or dollars it's a uh, it's a lot of money for a keyboard especially a 10 keyless version yeah and yeah, yeah, I, agree. I guess the last year you also see like a big shift in prices within the mechanical keyboard world i mean you yeah. can get like a nice 10 keyless keyboard from Corsair with cherry switches for what well, is like 70 euros. Uh, yeah. And um, so we really wanted to compete more with our competitors price wise. Yeah. And at this moment we are more experienced and we don't have like the, the, the startup costs anymore of the company. So yeah. maybe in the future we wanna keep the price uh, at this point, but First, we have to test out if the price point will actually do anything. So yeah. let's say we sell 10 keyboards each month. And with this price drop, we sell 11 keyboards this month. You know, then you could say, hey, it's not worth it. So the price is yeah. an issue. It should be something else. So this month is for us like testing the waters and uh, 
hopefully we get a lot yeah. of information and we can also communicate this to a, this to a, our distributioners and give them maybe good news like hey you know allow grow price price point just increase the sales by like 600 percent whoa poof, we're getting whoa. rich we're getting rich <laughs> so uh, uh for us it's more of a test and for everyone who has been following the us and the whole wounding one for a while but yeah. thought like hey the price too high i mean this like a chance to buy it and uh yeah 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 exactly yeah even <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, an email this morning from a guy and he said that how is it possible that now you can get the keyboard cheaper than at the Kickstarter and then uh, at first I thought huh well I thought two things like whoa that's that's quite a while ago so pretty interesting that you still draw the direct comparison but then again then the second thing I thought was but it's the same price right um yeah oh maybe he was uh if you buy it from the US, you had like, of course, conversion fee. Maybe yeah, so it wasn't yeah. 139. And I guess if you buy it like outside of the European Union, you don't yeah. have to pay the taxes towards us. You have to pay it like at the customs. So it looks cheaper. Uh, mm -hmm. But then again, like the, the Kickstarter period and now is like complete difference, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I sure. mean, there we had like startup costs and we didn't know what to do. And now we have sort of yeah. all the operations running and. Uh, yeah. So our initial costs are gone. So and of course, like the manufacturing process, is more yeah. optimized and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like also what you mentioned before is like we have more experience and like uh, this is uh, not only with our own keyboard but also like with the market and how it works and how uh, different competitors price the keyboard and it's just that making uh, making something and putting a price on it is very hard. It's like um, there's this. Uh, I mean, of course, you have a certain cost and uh, and a certain money you want to make, but there's also like the sort of uh, psychological feeling about a price. Like, uh, yeah, well, people, people well, like it. I guess we got a lot of feedback when we announced the price for 160 euros that people said, "Oh, you really need to get below the 150 euros because that's like the psychological price point." And uh, right, uh, it was pretty interesting because then we were sort of afraid like hey we're not gonna price the same as like the kickstarter because we really have to uh show our kickstarter backers that we love you guys yeah. and they're not gonna shit over you that soon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and even before yeah. when we uh when we saw like making up the price and stuff some people said like hey you really have to like aim high and put it for like 180 euros and if it doesn't sell you put yeah, it for 170 yeah. euros and then you just keep dropping until you find the point where you want it but that also felt like really unfair for us because if you drop your price each month you know that's it doesn't really yeah. convey trust but other people said like hey you really have to do it like cheap don't make any money but just get like your brand and name out there and yeah. we were always somewhere in the middle there yeah, yeah. we just I, I guess we always played it safe with our business in mind and our expenses I and, think so too yeah I think like uh, yeah yeah, we definitely played it pretty safe. And I think that's a very good thing, uh, especially when you're starting out. And um, I think, and also like once you uh, go down, it's very hard to go back up again. It's yeah. like pretty much impossible. Well, so, uh, except if you sell yeah. uh, graphic cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, now on crypto mining, yeah. Wood coin. The wood coin. Oh, that would the be great coin. if you could like mine Bitcoins for each key you press. Like a little bit. Yeah. The wood coin. We should do it. Should yeah, do we'll it, just uh, we'll just uh, make a white paper and then just earn millions of money. <laughs> of introduce it. Yeah, well, we we just, just need to have. Just, we need to search for an interview of Elon Musk and get like all stacks out of context. Like this is the future. Wow! <laughs> make a video yeah, of yeah. rich, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the recipe to. Uh, to a successful uh, cryptocurrency scam is uh, one you need a website that has like flashy uh, electronics on it or something. They always have this sort of same style where it's like sort of dark bluish and they have this sort of uh, this sort of neural network animation where it's like uh, electrical things flashing back and forth. And then the second you need is a white paper so you can prove you're actually like uh, done any kind of research for your scam. And then the third one is uh, you get a crazy, uh, crazy guy. You put him on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you have to shout your name very, very loud. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, car for free. Uh, so. Car for free. That's a interesting name. Mm. Um, but but that's just, just like racers now defunct silver thing. Is it already? Uh... Oh, did it already find that? I, I didn't follow. I only saw. I remember seeing the announcement like a one and a half back, year right? ago. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that he was cool. Uh... I thought the idea was pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what they. Uh... They've done with it. But I guess, how can you measure it, you know? Because I can leave Steam open all along with a game and I chose like, hey, it's I played 60 hours last weekend. In fact, yeah, I only yeah. did work stuff. <laughs> it's it's kind of like our Discord, uh, dis not Discord, Guild Wars uh, play hours. Yeah. Where most of the hours were just running around the Guild Hall <laughs> waiting for the game to start. Uh, all right. Um, but now it's coming something amazing. Uh, the our affiliated thing, how do you call it? Called affiliated marketing, affiliated program. I mean, affiliated marketing sounds like pretty boring, right? But uh, we have done some research. And we're gonna touch with uh, a lot of people, and also about sponsoring. And it, uh, we get I we get mails like every week from teams to Twitch streamers to YouTubers to sponsor them, and uh, we never felt like really comfortable with the idea. But we always yeah. knew that, okay, this is like a real next step to get into a big market to sponsor someone. And we yeah. never knew what was a, well, we knew it was a good way, but how to put it in practice and making an arrangement. And also, is our product good enough for something like this, you know? But uh, our intern Tino stepped up the game and he found an amazing yes. OS player called Rohulk. And I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the chat. Yes. You? Yes, thank you. Whoa, surprise everybody, that was Tino. Oh, oh he's on the stream. But I'm faster, Tino. <laughs> For the first time. Oh man, I wasn't logged in to, uh, nah. to Twitch. <laughs> oh. Still have a lot of to learn, uh, Tino. Yeah. But, so check out his channel. I mean, he's a pretty cool uh, streamer and he used to win one yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. And I must admit, I only heard like you and Tino talk about it, but I... I still yeah. didn't have time to watch the stream back, but I'm gonna do it right after this live stream because um, it, it's pretty for me and also for Tina and Jeroen. It's it's pretty exciting because it's like a new thing and it, it sort of yeah. reminded me of like sending out the first winning ones and then the day on Discord yeah, yeah, yeah. one day earlier than we even expect. Like people's like, oh, I have my winning one, and it was like, ooh, the people actually gotta try it, you know, and people yeah. who paid money. But this was sort of the same, eh? but it's pretty cool. So. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched a little bit of it earlier today, and um, first of all, Osu itself is a crazy <laughs> game. Uh, <laughs> I, I've, I haven't like I've seen it a few times, but I never like watched somebody play it for a longer period of time, and it looks. Uh... Yeah, he also <laughs> I like when he's playing. He's like so intensely focused because it's so fast, and um, yeah. And, uh, oh my God, his hair is glorious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like this sort of explosion on his face, and. Uh, it's really cool and it looks so focused because it is so fast and um, yeah it's a very uh, very very interesting game and um, what's also pretty cool is he did this uh, also did sort of open discord where Tino even joined himself on the stream to sort of uh, answer questions about the keyboard and um, there was actually uh, I was also reading something about it in the chat and there was quite a lot of interest and also a lot of people who had never heard of the keyboard before and um, and also a lot of good comments about like, oh, what is a beautiful thing on your desk? And uh, that's always good to read. So it's always good to be right? happy about that. But it's for me. Well, I I know because I'm not stupid, but uh, for me it's so weird that people don't know stuff about keyboards. <laughs> but it's like I'm like a complete tunnel visionist and completely into the thing, you know. And sometimes I need to meet new people, and I'm trying to explain the winning one or mechanical keyboards in general and what the thing is most people really yeah. don't understand it and it's very yeah. difficult for me to communicate it in sort of a babyish way and still make it sound epic <laughs> yeah yeah i agree hey yeah. Nino why you're not late uh, you're still on time because we just started <clears throat> yeah just started 20 minutes ago but be sure to check out the uh, rohulk uh, 2010 yeah. how many uh how many times is he stream and what times usually tina uh, I can't really say, to be honest. He usually streams from like 6 p.m. And I'm 
GMT plus two, I think. So, well, okay. he, he so it's like uh, every other day, right? It's like Monday, Thursday, yeah, yeah, Sunday, pretty, Wednesday. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, he's quite inconsistent with keeping up with his uh, stream okay. schedule. <laughs> yeah. Well, we so, <laughs> so that's uh, hours on? Hmm? No, no. Continue. Because how many uh, how many viewers does this get live? Because I only watched the uh, playback. I couldn't catch him live yesterday. Oh, I don't know. Somewhere between sixty and hundred and fifty, depending on right. whatever. Is that big for an Osu streamer? Or? I don't know what. Uh, not really. Like it's it, it's up there, but I mean the the top ranked player gets closer to a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred at best times. Right. So yeah. yeah, I always find it uh, mesmerizing to watch all streams. But the thing is, most of them they use like this. Oh, this is going to be like very weird Asian music. <laughs> yeah, also it's full of that. Yeah, let's yeah. let's call it Asian music. That's a thing that <laughs> Asian music. Yeah, is well, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but. It's like this fast. <laughs> <laughs> anime, uh, anime core. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I saw YouTube and he did like all these. Uh, it's like anime the, or Europe, yeah. The classic Dragon Force and uh, Hammer Fall, that kind of stuff, and that's a bit more interesting for me. Not that I'm like a full metalhead or anything, but it's more music I can relate to. Yeah. And they yeah, keep on resetting, it? right? It's like oh. Oh, this looks pretty amazing. Oh, reset. Oh, something went wrong. And then, whoop. <laughs> yeah, it's actually something I really hate when uh, streamers do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of, I kind of understand. It's kind of like what, like as what speedrunners do, right? Like any uh, already make the reset. Yeah, it's pretty much they're just uh, looking for the good score, so they keep yeah. resetting if they make a tiny mistake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's pretty also cool. pretty interesting is that they use uh, a touchpad instead of a mouse. Because uh, I assume it's a lot faster the to uh, hit the points. Yeah. Oh yeah, it seems uh, a lot more accurate, faster. Yeah, it's a bit more uh, intu intuitive. How do you say? Right. I mean, some players yeah. play with the mouse, and uh, there was even an instance where the top-ranked player globally was playing with a mouse, but I think oh, he really? switched to a graphics tablet as well. Well, just what you prefer, okay. right? I mean, graphic tablets can be pretty expensive, especially if you need like this precise for Osu and yeah, also. Uh, I don't know, something like 80 euros, 60 euros, somewhere there. So not too bad. No, it's doable. No, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, cool. But if you like a streamer and like pretty cool, be sure to uh, send us an email to social at winning.nl. Yeah, yeah, and we're, we're still looking for more streamers and uh, yeah, different uh, different streams, different, different streamers, different games. And... Uh, yeah, to see. But we're like very, how do you say it? Picky? Picky about it. Yeah. Are we very picky about it? We are, right? Yeah, we are. I think we are? Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you say if we are or aren't. No, we, like, oh, we are. We are. We're aren't we, are. we are. I mean, yes. that's why also I guess we started with Roho because he was up for it and he wasn't like that major big and it's pretty nice playground for us to test and see what's uh yeah what's happening yeah yeah it is and what i also liked about uh what i uh what i also liked about his uh, atti attitude towards it is that um he uh i watched a bit of the end of the stream and he said yeah okay so uh i have this keyboard and it is sponsored but i uh i cannot really give my opinion on it yet because it just needs more time to uh to play with it, but the uh, his first impression was good, and I like that attitude too. It's not like oh, uh, I have the sponsored thing, uh, so it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's like a miracle of nature or something. <laughs> yeah, he feels, <laughs> yeah, he feels pretty honest about it. I say that a lot because it, uh, also towards your viewers, right? Because you don't want to be the sellout. It just pushes stuff to uh, your viewers' face. You want to actually share stuff that you also uh, think is cool yourself. I guess Nubafire did a really great job on that. He yeah, had yeah, like he a really subjective feeling towards it. And yeah. his view was like, and it was like too pushy. And it wasn't a sell because yeah. we never gave him money or anything. But no. uh, 
Do you know who is sellout? Every other tech YouTube review is who got a Dyson uh, V10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, just about to mention that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they must have spent a lot of money to get so many people on board. On the same yeah, time, man. on the and same the, day, right? The internet hates it. Like, the dislikes everywhere is just overflowing. But it, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Every, good, every publicity is good publicity. True. I mean, if we could do the same. Yeah. I mean, I, I think like one of the best things you can do is spawn a lot of, of uh, memes about your brand. And even though they make fun of you, it's still uh, publicity. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's check the chat. Uh, winning support for Rainbow, C Rainbow Six Siege. When? When, you Jeroen? <laughs> when are you going to fix for? when are you going to fix Rainbow Six Siege? When am I going to fix Rainbow Six? Yeah, I'll just uh, send a tweet to my friend uh, at uh, what is it? Activision? I don't remember. Ah, oh, it's uh, it Rainbow Six? Ubisoft, right? It's Ubisoft. Oh, yeah, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Yeah. Ubisoft yeah. 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 Well, it's it's sort of a shame like some games that could be like perfect for analog keyboards. Yeah. They don't have it, but it's also like we're still at the pioneer phase of analog keyboards yes. and um, uh, it's yeah it's hopefully more developers will pick it up but then again you know there isn't like any big developer that says like oh great you guys sold uh, 5,000 keywords to 5,000 people let's make my game <laughs> full analog for you guys yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's more like uh, how much money are you going to pay that's uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah for now for now until we uh, until we grow bigger, so uh, I mean, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully soon. We actually get a lot of requests for Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are are, uh, are disappointed that it doesn't work. I feel like maybe we can even uh, I don't know, maybe we can look into it sometime, see if we can make something special with it. Well, maybe yeah. we can contact them. Right? Yeah, that's also true. Okay, and then, sometimes. Maybe we should get something for Rainbow Six Seeds on board and uh, the streaming two weeks, and you can personally ask him, little big boy. Uh, and then, uh, oh so. yeah, die ah, That's 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 great. Let's get him. Let's get one of the developers from Rainbow Six Siege on the stream and let him talk about why it isn't any game and why it's for them um, difficult to get in. Oh, let's. let's hey, I think it's pretty. Let's write it down. I mean, it's doable, uh, right? That's besides uh, besides this uh, this idea, I think like actually a good idea would be to uh, get a get a like relatively famous indie game developer on board on the stream. Well, we can do it in the Netherlands, oh, right? Cool. I mean, we have pretty decent indie game developers in the Netherlands. Yes, yeah, yeah, we do. When is the meetup in Amsterdam? What is, what is this? Uh, Quinn's uh, second account or something? <laughs> it's, it's probably <laughs> Lily. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm still up for the uh, Amsterdam meetup, but knowing that Jeroen will be back in next week and next week, ten days, something, five, yes. seven days, soon, <laughs> we uh, can uh, we can for sure plan it. Eight, seven days, six days. Yeah. Oh, he's not Quinn. Never mind then. Then, uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe we'll set something up after I get back, which is uh, next week Thursday. So it won't be. Red it won't be months away, but it will be soon. Redberg says, really digging the new site, Eric. Yeah? What site? I mean, <laughs> I mean thanks. We've, we've had the redesign for how long now? Two to three months? Uh, or maybe it means that uh, we did change the About Us page uh, we last did, week. We did add an About Us page, yeah. Oh, did we ever show it? Should I show it? I don't think so. Let's, uh, yes. Oh, show it on stream. Let's show it on stream. stream. That's sick. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this sexy about us page. Look at these handsome boys. Where's, the Where's Tino? Where's Tino? Where's Tino? Where's me? Tino's on the about us page. But we just wanted a, 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 a better about us page on the page so we can show our faces here and uh, uh, call yes. uh, me and Jeroen and then what we did. And we sort of made a little timeline here to see yeah. what happened and where we're standing. It's not like too in-depth or anything, it's pretty shallow, but people can get a general idea who we are and what we do and the journey yeah. we've been through. Yeah, I think we still, uh, we can still add a lot to the About Us page because I think uh, at least what's better now is that at least our faces are on it, which makes it a lot better than what it was before. And uh, nice pictures in the timeline is pretty cool. But I saw the, 
<clears throat> it was not really about his page, but more like the history page from Master Up. And uh, they had this, uh, they had this whole story with like uh, interesting pictures from the good old days and uh, a lot of boxes and cool stuff. And um, yeah, I think it will probably uh, send them more. The history of yeah, the launch, the first so, one. Netflix says maybe I've been away from us much more clear and personal than the last one. Thanks. It's uh, also what we aim for. Yeah, true. Oh, here you can see like the first like, like scroll up a bit. It was like the car with the box in the back was like their first uh, delivery and uh, yeah, it's an interesting little story. I liked it. I think it's cool. Uh, even though it's like kind of yeah, it's kind of long, but it's an uh, it's a good read. Yeah, but it really shows yeah. the story in the personal pictures. That's pretty. Uh, it's pretty yeah. dope. Uh, I like it. Mm, but let's think. The website redesign was done in November. October somewhere? Yes. Yeah. So, not really sure. But yeah, they're very, very happy with uh, with the redesign in general. And yep. uh, yeah, now we just need to find a way to make the shop look like more beautiful, more better. consistent. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's experience of of the shop. It's like especially the checkout thing. It's pretty. Even for me, it's sometimes confusing. Yeah. But yeah, this thing, yeah. definitely needs some work there. But one step at a time, uh, we'll yes. get there. Um, so next topic, update RGB effects. Psst. Yes. So um, I still rock my RGB effects, or well, at least I do. <coughs> yeah, I might. I don't know. Huh? Where's my keyboard? <laughs> I'm in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's sleepy. Anyway, so uh, two weeks ago we did the RGB effect course where we uh, showed like the beta, uh, where we also launched the beta of RGB effects, and uh, that was a very very cool stream. I liked that a lot. But uh, and now this week, but there is still we got a lot of feedback from people. Uh, people really tried to best their break everything, so that's really good. And we had a big uh, Google Docs with. Um, all the things that are wrong, and I uh, summarized them in a in a to-do list of about I think there were like 15, 15 things. And um, last Wednesday we uh, released the first batch, which uh, solved about half of those, mainly uh, about support for ISO keyboards, which I completely forgot before. <laughs> Then the uh, second one is the ripple effect. So the ripple effect is like uh, you press a key and um, and the key uh, is sort of just reactive. To the Are you showing it now? I'm going to show it. Okay. Okay. But I first have to turn on the ripple effect. By the yes. way, huge, huge thanks to everyone uh, who's been testing and breaking the keyboard. Yes. <laughs> because, I mean, there's only so much you can do uh, alone. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's uh, it, it's a huge help because the, uh, we at first we were kind of doubtful because we were not very happy with the states we were at uh, two weeks ago when we launched the beta, but we felt like okay, we had we had like this RGB effects week and we did the live stream, so we had to launch it. But in the end, I think it turned out to be a pretty good decision because the, we just got this sort of list of things that was wrong, and for for us, it's like uh, especially considering we're such a small team, so. The amount of time we have is already very limited. Just have a list you can sort of tick off is uh, yeah, it's, it's extremely useful. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I just have too many booting ones connected at the same time. Okay. Yeah, AOE effect could still use some improvement. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because right now with the AOE effect, the, the idle brightness setting is still uh, kind of weird, like you have the idle brightness, but then you press it, then it certainly resets around. And also, uh, I also saw feedback about like how the keys are sort of chosen around the AOE effects, which are not very logical. So uh, yeah, we should definitely uh, make some improvements about that. Here we go. This yeah, is kind of really showed that great on the camera. Okay. It's anyway, so this is the, yes. 
So the ripple effect is. Uh... So before when you <laughs> when you did the ripple effect, they press too many keys at the same time, it will sort of crash. Like the the keys will just keep going around and around forever. And um, I think it sort of reminded me of. Uh... There's this thing called uh, Conway's Game Game of Life. And uh, have you ever heard of that, Eric? No. I don't know how. Like, okay. So it's kind of a. It's, I think it's more of a programmer thing. Conway's way of life is this sort of game. It's kind of hard to explain. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not gonna explain the whole thing now. But I think for those that that know it, they can sort of understand like how the ripple effect sort of keeps itself in life, keeps itself in life. Like in the same way, like Conway's game game of life, you can make like this sort of. Yes, it's programmers right of it. Yes, it is. Interesting. Okay, we have some people that know it. Boring. Boring. <laughs> uh, this what is this? A uh, keyboard streamer or a programmer? Yeah, no, programmer. It's always your wood is always technical. <laughs> the wood of the streams. Are... Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should send beat to feed now instead of caller. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, so well, anyway, yeah. ripple effect improved a lot, and it's really. And you can just sort of spam like crazy, and it will actually follow uh, follow with what you uh, what you type or spam or whatever. But we're still not really pleased with the ripple effect because the lights aren't that, that bright for some reason. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's big yeah, fixing sure. troubleshooting, right? Yeah, the ripple could glitch into infinite, infinite spiral. Yeah, yeah. It looked really cool though. It's it's kind of with things like that that you. Uh, you always wish you could sort of re recreate it in a way, but the, they, they happen for the wrong reasons and are surprisingly hard to sort of make if you intentionally want to do it. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> uh, funny, right? I think, uh, yeah, I think we should still, I really want to get it out on Sunday, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it and otherwise it will be early next week because the remaining things are from the top of my head. Uh, import and export from profiles, the AOE effect. Oh, let, me see. let me get my list. Well, it's it's more like the sharing, tweaking the effects yeah. to work, make them work properly. Oh, default settings is also a big one. Like uh, because for a lot of people, the the main issues came from when you first download the beta, then uh, your effects are kind of screwed up because the the default settings are not properly set. So it just sort of picks uh, random values. And that's also why your colors look so weird when you download the beta because the setup of your profile has changed. And yeah, it's not very logical. So it doesn't still need to change. And then also uh, another big thing, Eric, is the, the color preset. Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah. We, uh, we so, want a few color presets, like nice gradients or real cool colors. So if you guys have ideas, just make it on your keyboard and share the profile code on Discord or on a beta channel yes. or directly to one of us and we'll take a look yes. at it. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe you can make something bigger or the, like sort of sending your own colors. Ooh. 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 Yeah. And then there was something else. And and, and there's also sort of still, uh, and I'm not sure if we will be able to fix it in before the real release because it's mm -hmm. maybe a bit more work than Dissipated is that there's now there's a sort of disconnect between the utility and what you see on the keyboard, especially with the oh, effect. Right. So a yes. thing that really annoys me is that so for example my keyboard is completely red or blue whatever in the utility, and then I have yeah. the rainbow effect on my keyboard. I don't see it like live in the utility, but I see it on my keyboard. But then again, if yeah. you would animate it live in the utility, I mean that's pretty neat. But then if you want to change colors, how do you exactly yeah. do it? You know and stuff keeps on moving, it's very difficult because you have to like, oh, click faster. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's also, I was also thinking about, even if you do like a rainbow, it will probably also be out of sync. Could be. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. having it like static on your keyboard, that could be a way. Yeah. But then again, for example, yeah. if you would, I... if you have a really nice color scheme and then you click like the rainbow preset and it sort of overrides what you have in the utility, people yeah. maybe feel like, hey, my epic setup is going on, so that the yeah. what, about, what about if you just do uh, so let's say you click a effect in the drop down and it sort of displays for like one or two seconds in the utility and then just goes back to normal, just sort of a preview. 
Maybe you should have like a preview checkbox. Bloop. Second anti-aliasing. Oh yeah, for jelly and uh, what's the other one again? Touch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, touch uh, uh, anti-aliasing is already in the in the new update, but the is jelly is not there yet. I'm not sure if I'll even to make jelly because it's very hard. Jelly effects is is a is a pretty uh, complex effect. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to add it, but I'll uh, definitely look at it. Hmm. Oh yeah, the random, uh, the defaults random, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was, uh, anyway. So overall, pretty cool. So, uh, it's, it's, we're still working on the RGB effects. Well, uh, Yehud is mostly working on RGB effects, I'm just <laughs> waiting for Yehud to finish stuff. Uh. Oh yeah, this, uh, we see this uh, video, open letter to Corsair. Pretty cool, right? From program view, I can see how you wrote jelly. Nice. I really didn't have a clue how Jehun wrote jelly. It's uh, really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not very happy with the implementation yet, but I feel like with these kind of things, it's like uh, you just make something and you make it work first, and you learn more about how it works, and then you try to improve it. That's uh, anyway. DKS you can do this, right? Jelly. Did you? Uh, I mean, if you mean like activate custom macros with DKS, then no. Uh, because there, you can only do like two keys right now. And um, I'm not really sure how to uh, how to improve it yet or how we can make it better. But we'll, we are planning to look into double keystroke improvements April or May. Mm -hmm. Not exactly sure. I think it was uh, April. I don't have, I think but it was. Yeah. But I guess the most important thing is like having more, a bit more control over the DKS and make yeah. it more, uh, I wouldn't say it's buggy, but sometimes it feels buggy. Yeah, I guess it is buggy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is buggy. Uh, yeah. Hog Rider. Yeah. yeah. I guess yeah, I think he, the uh, main issue, no, no. The main issue with DKS right now is, uh, that if you press it, you can also sort of activate that first key, even if you only want the second key, for example. Um, so, so having more to... states like up, down, or down travel, yes. or up travel, or both, that's, yeah, exactly. that, that will be a big improvement. Yeah, that will already make it a lot more usable, but that's also, uh, yeah. Well, the, uh, the only again, scenario is... where I used DKS for was for Metacritic Solid 5. <laughs> that's literally the only game I played with DKS properly. Because it didn't support like the analog thing. Maybe it's a thing you can do with Rainbow Six Siege also, if you want to slow and fast moving controls it's not like you have like a smooth thing but uh, mm -hmm. if you put on the top like for example shift and walking and completely down just normal walking there's like your sort of suedo analog oh hog rider is a noted donated dollar joy oh <laughs> thanks dear thanks for the donation well uh, we are I think uh, Yohun and I were like the coolest streamer because if you donate money to us, so for example, if you donate $139.99, we'll, we'll send you a keyboard. Like, we're Whoa. really cool streamers. <laughs> Whoa, that, that's, that's what you don't get with other streamers. No, 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 no. If you yeah. donate, uh, maybe you get like a live in the thing, yeah. a chat, whatever. No, just donate us. Maybe if you, uh, if you donate a lot of money, you'll go. Have you ever seen this video? It's, I don't remember the name of the streamer. But it was this girl, and she was like getting thousands of dollars, and she just spent the stream lying on the floor cr crying. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, have you checked this? Yeah, of course. This is the this is the uh, GitHub project, right? From the Korean University. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. I, have, I haven't had the chance like to to use it yet, but definitely kept an eye on it, and uh, also. Uh, I'm not sure in order if you're uh, associated with this project, but we also had even contact with the, those guys before, and still do. Really cool. Yeah, it's pretty I think cool. We talked a bit about it last uh, last stream. No, I so think I it was only two or three streams ago, now. but we uh, we just talked about it. Oh, you are uh, part of it. But yeah, yeah, really cool. I'll definitely. Uh... Oh, sorry. I'll I'll definitely check it out later, and. Uh, and we already, uh, I think I already have, yeah, one uh, person who already made a project with it. Pretty dope. 
this? In here. <laughs> True. Sixty dollars more. Um, but I really want to get to it's the most excited. I, mean, I don't know why this took so long. The the few topics we had. It's like we're starting to get. We're starting to look like Calder, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I felt like let's jump through all the topics in ten minutes and then go to Discord for the open mic. So, uh, I was hoping people would actually jump in besides Tino. So I think uh, we should sort of announce that. Uh... Oh, I just wonder. Yeah. I, I checked it out, but I'll I'll get back to you. But I uh, I did see it, of course. So, if you oh, haven't already, we have someone here. Hey, Bucket Mouse. Okay. I mean, should we first like introduce a sort of open mic idea and then? Uh, yep. If you want to jump into it, talk. I guess everyone is forced to do push to talk, except for you and me because we're awesome. We don't have to touch anything to talk. Yeah, so for anyone watching, you can just jump on Discord, go into the Hangouts channel, and uh, what button is push to talk? I have no idea. I also have no idea. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess it depends on your settings, right? You can go to it's your settings and check voice. <laughs> All the four. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best comments. Uh, it, it, yeah. it's, it's like such a baby joke. All the four. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the, the first time I was like confronted with the, the first time I was confronted with all the four I was playing a sort of like a weird MMO called Risk Your Life. I don't know if anybody knows it, but it was like a really crappy game. And then yeah. someone was like completely rich, and I said like, oh, "How do you get all the money? Where can I farm stuff?" And it was like, "Yeah, it's a it's a glitch. You just have to press Alt plus your foot." I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get the money!" <laughs> <laughs> So if there's anyone else, I mean, I saw Quinn in the chat. Quinn at least has to come to his hangout, right? Even if he's at work, because his work is like his house or something. Nah, but he's uh, he's struggling with the uh, internet things. Yeah, you know, so. you know why? You want to know why? Because he said that he, uh, I can barely send messages on Discord due to three signal towers, and that's because uh, Amsterdam has this huge power uh, outage today. I think. Ah, that's right. What I saw it on the news. So like trams are uh, driving. And I think they uh, they uh, put. Uh... Oh wait, what is this? Am I still the same? I just pressed the press the button on my. Yeah, still sure the same. I guess you even improved. Really? Yeah. Oh, A bit more clear. Okay, cool. So it's. Uh... I think this is Phil, right? Have you already figured out how to do uh, push the talk? Maybe we should just turn the setting off because it's not like uh, millions of people are joining anyway, right? No. What do you think? How do we? Uh, how, how do we? Let me see. I'm fixing it now. What is different members? Maybe. It's, maybe that's not good. What does that mean? That... Oh, I have to hold down push to talk. I'm. I'm. I'm silly. Okay. Hey. <laughs> well, now How's you don't have to use push to talk. Hey, well, how's it going? We do. This is what I was afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, we're doing fine. Uh, nice of you to join. Uh... So, I think I talked a little bit before off it. Because uh, you used a processing library before, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, I messed with it a bit. Um, I have some screenshots I could probably share. Yeah, yeah, if you could. That would be pretty cool. I think I have them. I'm just trying to think about the best way to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can sort of link images from Discord. Yes, I think you can. This. Dun -dun. Does this work? Yes, this works. Should I show it on the stream? So what I'm seeing here, a uh, sketch, spacer. I think uh, Phil should probably introduce the Weasel, so I'm not 100% sure. I think... What would be really smart is if I, like, streamed it, but um, basically... 
Oh shoot, when I hold push to talk, does that make it so no one else can talk? Uh, no, 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 everyone can talk at the same time, though. Okay. Uh, so what the sketch does... I think I can't hear other people when I'm talking. No, you should be able to. Yeah, oh. we're just quiet, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, I know what it's, what's happening. Um, I muted the stream, uh, the Twitch thing, and so now, uh, like, I see you guys' lips moving, but it's different because of the lag. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta just ignore that. Okay, so um, so the processing thing came with a sketch that showed A, S, D, and F uh, with that like red, yellow, and green bar at the top. Mm -hmm. And I was really curious how many samples, uh, what that um, shape would look like over time if I mm -hmm. uh, pressed the key and kind of charted it. So that's what spacer does is I'm pressing the space bar and I'm like pressing at different distances and it's kind of charting that over time. And it's also telling me how many different um, readings of the key I was able to do in 16 milliseconds. Um, right. So yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. I wonder like uh, <clears throat> maybe in order can ask answer this uh, himself like uh... Are you actually using it in your own uh, research, or what are you using it for now? Uh, I don't know if he's still in the chat. Oh yeah, asking the people who made the processing library. Yeah, uh, there's a guy called Inornet, uh, Inornet Four, and he actually made it. Did I, he made it, or he's associated with the project? I think he's the one who made it. <clears throat> yeah. Hey Phil, this is also quick. Uh, Dummy asks, do you have any plans on making? Uh, uh, C Sharp API for wooding, or developers gotta handle it on their own. Uh, yeah, so I'm working on that API. Um, yeah, I was uh, I was gonna do kind of the same thing that the processing folks did, um, present some kind of API that can be used in uh, Unity. Yeah, which uh, yeah, which is probably most commonly used, and uh, and also uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's just going to be a, a, a C DLL with a Unity interfacing with a DLL. So uh, <coughs> I should be able to uh, talk to it from uh, C Sharp too. Right? Am I saying that correctly? Uh, yeah, that's true. In fact, I could also release a DLL that's just C Sharp with no Unity um, assumptions or, or whatsoever. Right. Too. Yeah, 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 I think that would be really cool. And oh. if you're comfortable um, interfacing with a C library with a DLL and then wrapping that in C sharp, you might be able to beat me to the punch, depending on who has a more productive week. <laughs> yeah, well, that's probably you. <laughs> yeah, and I think like also uh... probably me. I'm having an uh, awesome week. Oh, well, does the beta firmware beats 230 hertz? Yeah, I, I was thinking about it, and I think. It's Analog interface, but I have to look into it how to make it faster because we improved the scan rate. But I think the interface itself is still uh, is still limited, which is kind of kind of stupid now that I think of it. But uh, we could probably still make it faster. I'm really yeah. like all, all the things that are discussed within the last two minutes. Just everything goes over my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just like sitting here and thinking. Uh, I it's know like, some of these words. C sharp, uh, DLL. I know DLL. I mean, yeah. I hacked every game. And I'll answer the last question on this topic. Is that, uh, last thing I wanted to say to uh, to Dami is that it's uh, if you're like any any uh, comfortable with the programming and uh, talking to USB devices, it should be pretty easy to make something yourself. So if you want to do that, send me a message on Discord. Oh. But I was just talking like communicating with game engines or making actual plugins for game engines. I mean, like getting the analog values from the keyboard, and then doing—I mean, doing with uh, doing things with it is like the more difficult. But getting like the actual analog values in, uh, in let's say, a nice uh, in a nice way, shouldn't be that difficult. I think. Interesting. That's kind of it. Cool. Cool. Anything else, uh, yeah. bucket mouse? Like something we should really improve or 
Sub oh, I was, um, I'm like really curious. So the way to access um, to access the analog values is really easy right now. Um, and I was curious about if there are plans for accessing or setting the LEDs in a similarly quick and easy way. Uh, yeah, they definitely are. I think uh, we get a lot of, uh, we do get a lot of requests for this. And uh, I think I, so far I've always sort of been giving the same answer, which is uh, <clears throat> right now it's already not very difficult. It's just that if you want to do it right now, you have to use the same configuration interface as that we use for like uh, our utility and updating and everything. And I'm just sort of anxious that if we uh, let other apps also use that, that will conflict with uh, what we do. And also like, you can also sort of change things you don't really want to change. So um, I think we really uh, want something that is uh, completely separate, just like the analog interface. And uh, just with a simple thing, like uh, turn this LED on or uh, make the whole keyboard this color. And um, I was hoping to also get it done with the RGB effects too, but it was just too much work. And, uh, but uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely working on it. And uh, also very excited to get it out there. Of course, want people to it's... give the freedom to do whatever they want without breaking yes. vital stuff at the same yes. time. Yeah. That's uh, sort of what it boils down to. That yeah. totally makes sense. Um, if you want to talk about the technical or design side of things, things like that, um, I'd be interested in that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will. I think maybe might even. Hey, Bucket Mouse, yeah. uh, looking for an internship. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really cool, actually. I just assumed there wasn't time or whatever for it. Uh, well, there's always time for internships, right? There's always time for internship. Uh, I asked Tino. Tino is having the time of his life right now. Right, Tino? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. You know, you're oddly quiet. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <I'm in. laughs> he's like heavy censored. He knows it. Like right after the stream, he gets like a complete yeah, beatdown. Yeah. <laughs> you, you remember? You remember what was in the contract, right? <laughs> oh, pretty cool. Uh... Tino still says nothing. <laughs> Wait, what? I said Tino. Tino is still. Uh... Yeah. Oh man, so I have another friend who's on a project that's a software project, and there's a guy named Tino, who's like this mysterious guy. That could oh, be our that, Tino. That's uh, probably not me. <laughs> Every project Tino. has that Tino. That Tino. <laughs> Every project. We also have our Tino. Well, our Tino isn't mysterious. Our Tino is no. uh, awesome. Can't yes. say anything oh, I'm kind of mysterious, aren't I? No, not anymore. Maybe in the beginning. Oh, okay. Now it's like you know I everything. Mean, any... Cold brewing. Yeah. I think like uh, on, especially if you look at Discord, you're by far the most active uh, wooden member. Well, that's not really a feat, is it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. That's a... <laughs> yeah. I don't have any. Well, yeah, uh, Tommy, you need to you need to get one. I really want to get that. more into. You gotta get it, you know. I really want to get more into it. Discord and just, you know, chat all day. But the problem is, I would just only chat all day, you know, and it's very difficult for me to not focus on one thing at a time or to focus on two things at a time. So when I'm working and yeah. doing Discord at the same time, that my work is completely slacking or I'm completely slacking Discord and. Yeah. Uh, Especially in the evening, I really try to avoid to, well, I read everything, but I really try to avoid to get in a conversation because then it's like me two hours on my phone messaging back on my girlfriend yeah. sitting next to me. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you, know, you know, sometimes I see like, uh, because most of the time it's also because of the time zone difference. Like, I feel like I'm also always lagging behind. And also, uh, if there's like a simple question, then I, I, uh, somebody else already has the answer. I was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like a really, uh, really annoying. Yeah. Oh, oh you yeah. dropped there. Uh... Uh, dropped there? Yeah, for a sec. But I guess it's the, also yeah. the connection because the Discord, we have trouble to connect to Taiwan. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Voice-wise. I feel like, 
Discord is very, uh, it's a lot smoother uh, if you keep it like local. Hmm. Yeah. It's always surprised to me how good of a job uh, Skype does in uh, like wherever you are. Like it's never really good, but it's always, it always sort of works. That must be kind of new for Skype. I don't know. I haven't used it in a few years. I mean, it's, it, it still sucks, but it's just still like the best free okay. option out there. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to all other things, uh, well, at least yeah. for us, because like we're sort of spread over the globe, then yeah. the Skype is by far the best option. Well, I guess FaceTime is better, but you cannot really have group calls with FaceTime. Mm. Mm. And yeah, true. when you try something like appear in, that's also well, okay, but it has its downsides. And Google Hangouts uh, Hangouts is is it also that good globally? The same goes for Discord because yeah. I would use Discord twenty four seven. Uh, with Carl and Jeroen, but that's unrealistically. Yeah, it's just uh, the, the connection can be really bad from Taiwan. I feel like right now it's pretty good, but I had a lot of work. Yeah, but it's getting worse now. It knows, it? <laughs> it knows you're far away. It knows, yeah. It started talking about how good it was doing and then it started getting choppy. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> like they know, they're listening. But uh, anyone else who wants dark. to come over to Discord from Twitch and say yes, something, hang out. Some, something creative instead of programming, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Interface, DLL, c But I wanted to talk about programming, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, At least we have somebody in, uh, in the... That's true, that's true. Well, hang out. I always find it interesting, programming, but it's difficult for me to... Because I guess I'm missing like half the basic concept, so most of it's like hocus pocus. Yeah. I guess it is. So anyone in the stream want to join? Go to Discord. There's a click on Hangout and say something. You can say anything. Pretty much anything. The stream time is not a USA family. No, it's not. No. Well, that was on Discord. Must... Oh, wait, that's on Discord. <laughs> it's 8 bit Lama. It. Yeah. Well, we. it's funny because you and I, we talked about it right before the stream that what would be like a better time to stream because let's be honest like a friday afternoon is the the in, uh, even well it's the same as sunday afternoon it's like pretty worse and it's only good for like european people who yeah. are sort of not busy at the moment with work or private stuff and i yeah. guess an ideal time would be like for us uh european time nine in the evening pm yeah yeah, yeah. And then you can also like yeah, pick some just... of the US people in the afternoon. Yes. That's pretty yes. neat. But it's... Uh... That'd be pretty cool. I woke up at 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, for me, it's like pretty doable. But for Carl and Jeroen at the moment, it's like, well, it's not impossible, but it's then there 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have to stream in the middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh... yeah but I think like... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> you guys will have puffy eyes woken up. Oh, look at the stream. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's get it over. Let's check stream. <laughs> and after stream, like, so completely <laughs> like, you cannot sleep anymore. <laughs> Remember when we did the New Year's stream? Uh, I, was, I was in New York. And yeah. I had to wake up at, like, 6 or 7 to do the stream. And I was just yawning like crazy. <laughs> it just continues yawning for, like, an hour. I yeah. was like up all night that night, and then like the wooding stream happened. I was like, "What is this? I guess I can't go to sleep." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and that's uh, yeah, I just woke up, and I was pretty sick too. I was just yawning and coughing. Uh, that was a good stream. <laughs> yeah, right. But I think, but I think uh, once uh, once I'm back next week, we can try uh, streaming. Just uh, with two of us, and then just try 9 p.m. And then uh, stream with all the other people in Discord, everybody uh, who's in the Hangouts, chatting. Well, then again, I'm, I'm, I mean, US people? Uh, it, it, it sort of reminds me of the game nights. Uh, like last year, we still did the game nights every Thursday. Uh, it was so funny because one week we were like, okay, next you're going to do like US time because we want US people to play. So I went to the office at 1am <laughs> to play video games. But then I sort of <laughs> realized that it was Thanksgiving that day. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
So only the, the standard European people were there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so, it was that pretty was dumb. Great <laughs> sorry. Bar sorry, family. I'm going to go play games with my keyboard company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. It's important. But you see, there's it's this important. keyboard. Yeah. You mean your parents don't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> focus. Focus, focus is a great song, but focus. Yes, I know. It's a really cool song. It's a Dutch band. Focus, focus. Uh, I'm not sure where it comes from, but. <laughs> Me either. Yeah. So, Jeroen. Yeah, that was, uh, I think that was kind of the open mic. I'm, uh, I'm sort of sad that no, I'm very happy. Phil joined. That's very. I'm also very happy Park uh, Noise uh, joined. And Tino was here. That's also pretty neat. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know, Tino has also joined the open mic. So at least that's, uh, I, I mean, Tino doesn't really count. But I, I, let's just count as two people that joined. Is there a plan for. Oh. Is there a plan for a new switch that can sense all the travel from zero to four millimeter? Uh, so the improvements from the switch are very dependent on like what our switch manufacturer wants. And um, what's kind of the annoying thing is that we don't buy enough switches to really pressure them into making a difference. And uh, until we do, we're sort of uh, at their mercy, I guess. And as far as I know, they don't have big plans yet. But we'll, we keep on pushing and uh, and uh, hopefully uh, make some improvement in that aspect. Well, for sure we will work on it. And for sure in the future, there will be a switch type with the full travel range. Yes. But we really cannot put a date on it right yeah yeah but it's like physically possible with the current switch uh, type no <coughs> but if you modify it it would be possible and and there would still be some downsides that you would have to overcome so there are some uh, ups and downs yeah yeah it's uh it's just sort of limited in their uh it's just sort of limited in their design and uh <coughs> Yeah, it's just uh, if they want to change it, they have to change their molding and uh, do new testing and everything, and they just don't want to do it. And uh, yeah, At this I mean, point. if we were big enough to say, okay, uh, we'll just not, not buy switches anymore, then. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, that's, that's, that's always a good strategy, but it's not a very good strategy if, if, if what you buy is already like a spick, it's like a little, uh, little. Uh, Drop on a hot like a plate. The radar. Drop on the yeah. But we'll get there one day, right? Yeah. And yeah, of course, definitely. a stream wouldn't be complete if nobody mentioned the numpad. Yes. <laughs> the bad. Oh, stream <laughs> Well, I, I I sort of my own solution for a numpad because I'm also missing a numpad. But the thing is, you just need like it's maybe a long shot, but you just need like multiple booting ones. So with this one, I only use a number row. I have this one used for gaming, and then I mix it up, and that's like uh, at the moment a really good solution for a uh, numpad. Yeah. Just <laughs> just buy more wood sure. once, uh, or donate yeah. to the stream one hundred thirty dollars, one hundred forty dollars, and you get like a wooden one. Yeah. Now the wooden one is available for one thirty nine. Ninety nine. So you can buy two, for not for even three hundred bucks, hey. less than three hundred. But if bucks. you buy if you buy one, you save twenty bucks. But if you buy two. You save 40 bucks. But if you buy hey. seven, you get a free keyboard. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> yes. Just buy seven oh. wooden ones, you get a free one for free. Oh, that's. What a deal. It's like we're this giving is, it this, away. This is, a, this is a better deal than Disco Disco. And, <laughs> and that was already, that was already like one of the most legendary century. Yeah. The disco Disco. <laughs> It would be like a okay. good fun. It's like, oh, next product, would you gonna announce it? Oh, everybody's, oh, numpad, numpad, oh, 60%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be 
fucking hilarious. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It's like... <laughs> well, it's almost April Fool's, right? Yeah. <laughs> what if we even announce like a Nimpad version on April Fool's? Does anybody believe it? I don't know. We can try Maybe. it, right? We can try. I think about right now people are so desperate. How oh, you dropped there, Jeroen? Hello. People are so uh, desperate. I said, I said that by now people are so desperate they'll believe anything. <laughs> Perfection is approved not when there is nothing to add, but when there's nothing left. Wooting zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> We're basically giving them away for free. Wooting zero. Anyway, I think uh, we should uh, end it there. It's it's so weird to do streams on Friday for me. I mean, for you, it's like already late in the evening, so you can like chill out and do whatever you want. But normally it's like my Sunday and right after the stream, I can play games or I go to the cinema with my girlfriend and I go home or whatever. But now I still have to yeah. do work stuff. Aww. Normally it, it feels like the stream is like a fun day of doing nothing while <laughs> you talk in the stream, but. Yeah, yeah but I'm, act I'm actually pretty happy with doing it on, uh, on Friday instead of, uh, instead of Sunday. Yeah, me too. Because Sunday, Sunday night, this is, uh, oh wait, what was it in the morning? Yeah, Sunday night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, dropping in. No, you were like, busy away or something. Oh, we meant <laughs> I was just sort of rambling, I don't know. I'm getting pretty tired. Thousand C right. and activation force, that's impossible. Uh, I once was at a mechanical keyboard meetup in Eindhoven and there was a guy who modified his cherry switches and he put like 200 CN switches in it and it felt like typing on rubber, it was so weird and so sluggish. Does he actually use it? No, it was just a fun project for him. Uh, and everybody wanted to type it. on it, right? Uh. Well, but I really want to thank uh, Bucket Moose and Tino for joining, and of course you would. Yes. I mean, thank you. thank you. What's the stream without you? I uh, just waved to Jeroen on the stream, but that's sort of dumb. And Jeroen has to has yeah. to wave down. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the oh, best, no, look uh, it's best thumbnail ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's so good okay anyway okay well <clears throat> i had a blast today and the next stream is again yeah. with uh calder probably yeah and and uh with uh book of mouse and latino again no sure well sure <laughs> the the next stream we try to get a another famous person besides book of mouse and tino on stream right i mean uh yes. if you like the idea of the rainbow six developer someone on board yeah or yeah, even a Q &A I, I hope, uh, in two weeks we can get a, a guest on board like or, uh, somebody uh, somebody uh, more interesting to listen to or if there's a game dev out there maybe he or she can join yes so if you know someone be sure to let us know so we can get in touch with them and it would yep. be pretty uh, pretty cool yes oh. and uh, I, I feel like we should give a uh, Give open bike another shot sometime, but yeah, for sure. I mean, I enjoy. Yeah, it. I think if we can make the stream happen uh, on Friday night, the open mic oh. would be great. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, like see people like being more enthusiastic about their weekend, and everything instead of working. Uh, that we can do. Uh, Friday night party stream. <laughs> Friday night party stream. <laughs> party stream. Woo. Well, Rip, I'm only a modder, not a game dev. A modder is also something, right? Yes. Join the join the hangouts. Join the hangout. Uh, uh, well, let's do it next time. Let's do it next time. Well, okay. thanks everybody for your time, and I'll see you guys again in two weeks. Yes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and. Donate $140 or euros to its stream and we'll send you a keyboard.
That's kind of it. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>